What is up guys, little dog dog here. Today I'm bringing you a guide for the fairy tale quest part two to cure queen. In this quest, you have to, you know, cure the queen. I'm not gonna spoil it, you're gonna do the quest yourself, you know, follow the guide along and you'll be able to complete it. Uh, this guide is done at a one to one speed so you can open this on a second screen or prop your phone up or something and be able to follow along exactly what I do. That way you're not pausing and everything like that. Um, so let's just get right into it. In terms of quest requirements for this quest, you just need to have completed Fairy Tale Part 1, Growing Pains. Um, this doesn't look like much, but that quest itself has some prerequisite quests you need to have completed. So as long as you've completed Fairy Tale Part 1, Growing Pains, um, you're all set to be able to do this quest. If you haven't completed it, you need to make sure when you go back that you've done those quests also. And in terms of skill requirements, you're going to need to have 40 thieving. Now this one is not boostable. And you're going to have to have 49 farming and 57 herb lore, which are boostable. Some items you're going to need are a uh, Draymond and a Lunar, or a Lunar Staff, not Ant. You need a Draymond or Lunar Staff to get to Zanaris. You're going to need a Vial of Water for making a potion, and one set of combat equipment. Uh, this is for fighting a Gorak. If you're max combat, you probably don't actually need that, but it. either way, it's going to make the quest go faster. As for items I'm going to recommend that you bring, you're going to need... Um, I'm going to recommend, actually, a set of magic combat gear, just because the Gorax you're going to fight are weak to magic. Actually, they're weak to water spells, so if you want to bring some water magic, that'd be good. And around 10 food, if you're lower level, the Gorax can be kind of tough. Um, they're a little higher level than a normal monster, so, you know, you can never be too safe, and you're going to have the inventory spaces anyway, so you might as well bring it. To start the quest, you're going to want to speak to Martin, the Master Gardener in the Draenor Market. Once you're there, as I said, you're going to speak to Martin and choose the second chat option to talk about farming problems and fairies. Now, he's going to accuse you of not actually fixing the problem the first time in the quest, except this quest, and then you're going to want to wait about five minutes for his crops to grow. Once you've done, once you've waited, you're going to want to talk to him again and choose the same chat option, talk about fairies and farming problems. He's going to tell you that he needs you to fix this problem. Um, so you need to head back to Zanaris. Zanaris, you can get to um, in the Lumbridge Swamp as long as you have that Draymond Staff equipped. So that little house I had uh, in the red square there is how you get to Zanaris if you can't remember. So I just home teleport. Uh, I think it's the fastest way. It's cheapest. Not the fastest. It's cheapest and I know everybody has it. If you have a faster way to get to Lumbridge, you can go ahead and use that. And then from the Lumbridge uh, Lodestone, you're going to want to run through the castle and out into the swamp to the south. Now you're not going to be able to get into Zanaris if you don't have that Draymond or Lunar Staff equipped. So make sure you're wielding that when you go in through uh, through the door into the shed. So open the door with it equipped and you're going to be brought to Zanaris. Now you're going to want to go to the house that the fairy queen was in in the first quest. That's just north of the bank. So from where you are, you just need to run west and then a little north once you get to the bank. You're gonna want, once you open the door to the house, um, you might need to click on it twice. I had to. Uh, you're gonna get a short cutscene showing how the the fairy's house is in sort of disarray. Everything's broken on the shelves. There's stuff on the floor. Now, when you go in, you don't have to search the shelves like I did. It used to be how you found the healing certificate, but they changed it. I didn't know. The healing certificate is now on the floor in the southeastern corner of the house. So I searched all the shelves before I realized it wasn't there, um, but it's actually just on the ground and you have to pick it up. You can see the healing certificate is on the floor right here. It's where I'm clicking on now. So pick that up and then you're going to want to right click on it to study it. So study the healing certificate. It's going to show you a bunch of symbols that you can't understand. Uh, now go south from where you are and speak to the fairy chef. You're going to want to use the healing certificate on the fairy chef and your character will ask her about the symbols. 
So like I said, use the healing certificate on the fairy chef. I put that kind of stuff up there if somebody was listening um, or was not using audio, which is trying to watch the video. Um, so I may repeat myself sometimes when I read that. The fairy chef will tell you she doesn't know, but she thinks she saw some strange markings near the uh, cosmic altar. Now, the cosmic altar is just south of where you are now. However, you have to go around um, to the field and go through that passageway there. If you have a higher agility level, you can use the shortcuts to make this a little bit faster. Uh, however, it's not a requirement for this quest, so I did not use them. You can see they're located right here. I'm examining them. Now, just south of the cosmic altar, it can be a little hard to see. You're going to see a little stone plaque on the ground. It just looks like a rock. Um, you're going to want to read that. You can exit out of it. Once you've clicked on it, that's all you need to do. That's because you're using a guide. You don't actually have to translate it yourself. It says Cosmic Rune Altar, but you can use those symbols to translate the healing certificate. Now you're going to want to head to the throne room to speak to the Godfather. So if you'd want to teleport to Lumbridge and come back, that could be a little quicker. But, you know, you're already here. Why waste the time loading? Basically, what the healing certificate translates to is coordinates to where the fairy uh, queen and fairy nuff has taken her. Um, she says how the fairy godfather attacked and is trying to take over, and they went to a fairy hideout, essentially. That's what it translates to, and it gives you the coordinates to progress with the quest. Now, the fairy godfather is just south of where you entrance, where you came in, the entrance of the fairy ring there. Uh, so you just set up ahead there. Open the door, speak to the fairy godfather, and choose the first chat option, where is the fairy queen? After clicking through the dialogue, you're going to choose the first chat option once again. Do you have any idea who could have done this? Continue clicking through the chat. And choose the first chat option once again. Yes. Okay. This is going to be how you learn to use the fairy rings. Um, so now you need to go north from here and speak to the fairy coordinator in the intersection. Speak to the fairy coordinator and use the second chat option to ask about the fairy rings. Click through everything. You don't even have to pick anything. And now you're going to want to run west to the little transportation symbol here. That's the fairy ring we're going to use. So with your Draymond staff equipped, click use on the fairy ring. And you're going to put in the coordinates A, I, R. Now these spinners can be a little finicky. Um, so it might take you a little longer to get used to them. But once you've got A, I, R in, you're just going to want to click teleport to this location. It's going to put you on this little island here outside of Witch Haven. Click on the fairy ring once more to return to Zanaris. And use the fairy ring in Zanaris again. Once the interface comes up, you're going to want to change the coordinates this time to DLR. Teleport to that location. This one's going to take you to the Poison Wastes. Use the Fairy Ring once again. Teleport back to Zanaris. Use the Fairy Ring again. We have two more coordinates to put in. Put in the coordinates D, J, Q. And then teleport to that location. 
This one's going to teleport you just a little bit, a little, a couple steps away, but it's correct. Uh, and then use the fairy ring again for the last time. You're going to want to put in the coordinates A, J, S. Teleport to that location, and it's going to take you to the fairy HQ. Now, in the northeastern corner of this map is where you're going to find Fairy Nuff and the Fairy Queen. Speak to Fairy Nuff. When you find her, she's just going to be flying around this little area here. And click through all the dialogue. She's going to give you a little summary of what's happened yet and find out that you weren't trying to, you know, kill the Fairy Queen by giving the Godfather the Magic Secateurs. Um, she's going to introduce you to Fairy Very Wise, who will fly up and uh, join the conversation. And they're going to tell you that you need to go get the Magic Secateurs back from the Godfather to help bring the Queen back. Just continue to click through the dialogue and then head back to Zanaris. You can get there by using the fairy ring that you came in on. That's just in the southwestern corner. Click on the fairy ring, you'll return to Zanaris and make your way back to the throne room. You're going to want to pickpot the fairy godfather, pickpocket, but make sure that his little cronies aren't looking at you and you're standing behind him when you do it. So they have to be looking right at you, so as long as they're not, you're good. Right click on them, select pickpocket, and you'll get the golden secateurs. If you fail this, you'll be teleported outside of Zanaris back into the Lumbridge Swamp, but you're not going to lose anything. You can just keep trying until you get it. And remember, to return to Zanaris, you need to have that Draymond staff equipped and go through the shed in the Lumbridge Swamp. Now you're going to want to go back to the fairy ring that we've been using this whole time and return to the fairy headquarters, uh, fairy resistance headquarters. So click here where I put on the screen. It says click here. If the things are going to, the coordinates are going to move and then you can click teleport to this location. This is going to bring you back to the fairy resistance HQ. And you're going to want to bring the Golden Secateurs right back to Fairy Nuff. You can click through the dialogue. She's going to take the Golden Secateurs from you, use them to try and heal the Queen, but lo and behold, it doesn't work. You need to get a Magic Essence Potion because she's been gone too long. Now, Fair Enough is going to tell you how to get the Magic Essence Potion. By making a Starflower and a Gorak Claw in with a Vial of Water. That's how you make it. You just got to go get the ingredients. She warns you of how vicious Goreks are. They're not really that bad, um, but I am a high level, so take that with a grain of salt. And by high level, I mean 119, as you can see. So I'm not maxed. And it was still pretty easy. First, we're going to get the star flower. So go back to the fairy ring. Which will bring you back to Zanaris to click on a fairy ring. Once you can click on it, you're going to want to use the coordinates C, K, P. And then teleport to that location. Had a little trouble here with the finicky controls. Just, just keep trying until you get it. And then teleport to that location. Now it's going to take you to the secondary plane. Uh, this part kind of sucks because it, it's another part of the quest that they're making you wait. You have to wait about two minutes for these star flowers to grow, so I guess it could be worse. And you can entertain yourself by talking to this guy who's in the plane. Uh, essentially, you can ask him what he feels about the world and the universe and why it exists. You know, that kind of stuff. I talked to him. I did two dialogues through with him. And then I just waited for my star flower to grow when I saw it was sprouting. So 
So they'll grow everywhere in the actual uh, plane here, uh, as long as it's on the actual, you know, on the ground. Uh, you just need to find one that's sprouting and go stand by it before it disappears. So I saw that there was a little green sprout on the ground right here. You can examine it. It'll stay star flower and it'll start to sprout. This isn't even sped up. They grow pretty fast and then pick it. Once you've picked it, you can head back to the fairy ring and get out of the trippy place. Now you're going to want to use the fairy ring again to put the coordinates in for the Gorax. So just click on it once you can and put in the coordinates D I R. Teleport to that location and you're going to be surrounded by Gorax when you get there. This is why if you're low level food will be necessary. So all you need to do is kill one. Make sure you equip your actual weapon, not your Draymond staff. And then once you kill the Gorak, make sure you pick up the Gorak Claws that it drops. That's what you actually need. And once you have the Gorak Claws, you can just teleport out using the Fairy Ring. Then I'll take you right back to Zanaris. Use the Star Flower on the Vial of Water. Once you can, of course. You're going to want to grind the Gorak Claw. Just click on it and then click Grind. And then use that uh, Gorak Claw Powder on the Magic Essence Unfinished Potion. Now you're going to want to return to the Fairy Resistance HQ. You're going to need to click on the Fairy Resistance HQ button four times and teleport. Um, you're going to go through all four positions you did the first time and then you'll be able to go back. So you can just use the Fairy Ring each time once you get to that destination. Uh, and then use the Fairy Ring once you get back to Zanaris to teleport to the next location. If you're a little confused, watch what my mouse is doing. You'll be able to figure it out. So I click on Fairy Resistance HQ, it puts in the coordinates, I teleport to that location. This time it's going to bring me to the Poison Wastes. I use the Fairy Ring to teleport back. And then I click on the Fairy Ring once again to click on Fairy Resistance HQ and it'll put in the next coordinate to get there. As you can see here. It's just going through the same sequence of coordinates that you did the first time to get there. Once you get the last coordinate, you're going to be teleported to the Fairy Resistance HQ, and you're going to want to go back to Fairy Nuff in the northeastern corner. Talk to Fairy Nuff. And she's going to tell you to use that magic essence potion on the queen. So you're going to want to do that. And the queen is going to come back to life. You've done it. My god. After you click through the dialogue here, um, you're going to be able to keep the rest of that magic essence potion. It's just a, a magic combat potion. increases your magic. Um, so if you needed something like that, well, you got it. But you click through the dialogue and fair enough explains that the Godfather is actually the mastermind and, you know, he's the one who almost killed her. Uh, once you get through all the dialogue here, that is going to be quest complete. So if this guide helped you, be sure to leave a like, comment down below if you have any questions, complaints, suggestions, anything like that. Um, if you're bored, check out some of my other stuff. Be sure to join that French chat at LittleDogDog15. That's just my in-game name. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.